Hi guys! Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Sunny, your North Country Knitter, and I'm very happy you're here and watching this video. This is video number eight, vlog number eight, and I don't have a whole lot to show you. So this is going to be a short one, um, which is probably a good thing since my last one was quite long. So we're making up for that. Um, I hope you all have had a good week. Uh, it has been a long, slow, but also very fast week here. Um, my two littles have both got a cold. I'm pretty sure my oldest one is fighting it off as much as she can. And I just have my fingers crossed that we don't all get it at once. Yeah, so that's where we are. Um, I do not have a whole lot to show you this week. I only have two finished objects and two whips and that's it. Um, so we're going to dive right in. Um, first up, I will show you my finished objects and since they are the same thing, I'm going to show them at the same time. Are these not the cutest? Okay, so these are little heart keychains. Um, probably not how you're supposed to make keychains with the join up there, but how it did it. I do not have much experience making stitch markers or keychains or anything of the like, so I just kind of went off instinct. Didn't watch any videos or anything. <laughs> probably should have, but here we are. So these are two little heart keychains. I just said that, but in case you missed it the first time. <laughs> and this is using, um, this is Premier Home Cotton. And this could be the same, or it could be, it could be lilies and cream, or lilies, sugar and cream, cotton. I don't know the color of any of them. So, probably should have figured that out, but I did not. Oops, sorry. Um, so, one of them is for a friend, and one of them is for my daughter for Valentine's Day. She loves keychains now. Uh, she's in kindergarten. Apparently, keychains are all the rage, so... This is going to be for her for Valentine's Day. And this is the first time I've ever done like any shape heart. I think I said in my last video that I've never done anigurumi or I'm not really interested in it. Um, I think it looks great. I mean, some of the things that people make are just amazing. It's just not something I'm interested in right now, which is surprising since... My kids are at an age where they would like it, but oh well, to each their own, right? Um, so this, I will have the pattern linked below as long as I remember to do that because sometimes I forget, but that's okay. If I don't, go ahead and leave a comment. Be like, I want the heart pattern if you want it. Um, so it's knit flat with... Um, it's just, it's knit flat, you make two pieces, seam up the sides, and then stuff it, and then close up. So, there it is. And I thought they were cute, so I was impressed that I was able to get it. Uh, you're supposed to put a little seam, stitching seam along the edge, stitching decorative stitch along the edge, um, probably to hide the less than stellar seaming job I have going on there, but I didn't do that. I like it just the way it is, so that's how I'm going to leave it. Um, do you have a favorite? Do you like the pink or the red? I think they're both cute. My daughter's going to get the pink one because she loves pink. All things pink, all things purple, and rainbow. That If you ask her what her favorite color is, she'll say pink, purple, and rainbow. They're good colors. Uh, next up I have, oh, going out of frame, the shawl wrap thing that I'm making. 
with my Caron Big Cake. So I was able to work on it a, quite a bit at my daughter's basketball this week. Um, that is still a point. It's just wrapped around. I think it's coming out nice. I like the colors. Um, this bottom is kind of wonky in that it didn't stay consistent with the color changes, but that's okay. I still like it. Like this seems like a massive piece compared to this one. And I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be since this is my first time working with it and I haven't seen any other reviews and I lost a stitch. There we go. I've not seen any reviews for it. Um, I haven't looked for any. Maybe there's some out there. But this is one that I'm going to review once I get it done. So hopefully I get some, some more time to finish it. Um, but I am liking the colors. I think it's coming out pretty. I like the yarn. And I'll have more on that when I make a review video. Next up and last what are we six minutes in and I'm on the last thing already so, oh dear all right so this is gonna have a bit of a story to it story time here is my premier spun color whoops premier spun colors hat that I'm making my oldest daughter um, this is attempt number three Third attempt I will put a picture in right about here of what it looked like the first time I was making it and the top half is uh, a seed stitch that word didn't want to come out a seed stitch and I just didn't think it was flattering to the yarn for what I was making does that make sense? <laughs> I didn't think it was showing it off to its best ability. And part of that is because I had a vision in my mind of what it was going to look like. And it was so not what I was expecting it to look like um, that I was kind of disappointed with it. So it didn't have a, a fair chance <laughs> with me. So I ended up frogging it. And then I cast on again. And I had 85 stitches and I was supposed to have 86 and I didn't realize it soon enough. So when I took that all out, third time, I almost yawned right there. <laughs> third time I actually got the 86 stitches. I took my time, that helped. And I used stitch markers, which also helped. So here it is so far. This is just a two by two rib stitch. And that's a little more true to color right there. I am really enjoying how this is coming out. This is the colorway Iris and it's um, meaning for 65% acrylic and 35% fine superwash merino. And you can see I'm still working with a little, little bit of where I had to frog it and ro ro blah, roll it back up. And yeah, so I was feeling really, really down that I had to frog it. And I don't know why, because I feel like when you frog something, it should be relieving. Like, oh, okay, I get to start this over, which is not something you can say with all crafts right? Sometimes when you mess up with something, you've like really messed up with it. And is that true? Are there like other crafts out there where when you mess up with it, you've messed up with it and there's no like redeeming it. Anyway, you get to do that with knitting. You get to frog it. And now I'm feeling better about it now that I've redone it and come up with a plan. Now I'm just going to do, um, three or four rows of stocking net stitch and then one row of two by two rib and then three or four rows of stocking net and then one by two by two rib. And so it has a little bit of texture in it. Um, and, but for the most part, it just shows off that, 
really pretty color changing yarn. Um, what do you guys think about frogging? I want to know in the comments. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about frogging because for the most part I'm not very kind with myself about it. I should be and I wish I was but I kind of like get on me about like not having it right the first time which isn't fair. Ugh. What do you guys think? I want to know what you do. You like finally feel relieved that oh I get to start over, or do you get what I'm trying to say of like should have had it right the first time? That's what that's what I have playing in my head sometimes when I'm ripping it all out. Oh wow. Um. Yeah. So that is all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you to my 12 subscribers for watching and uh, Sarah May, hi. <laughs> She's been a big commenter lately and thank you so much for commenting. I'm trying to grow my channel and a good way to do that is to like my channel or my videos um, to sub subscribe to my channel. My mouth decided not to work there. Um, and to leave comments. I love getting back to you um, and seeing what you think about different projects and different stitches and <sighs> life in general. <laughs> um, or if you've worked with a certain yarn before that I'm working with, what you thought of it. And yeah, oh, it's more done. I got more of my pegs in, so I was able to put more, more up. So I've got Pretty much all my cotton is over here. Woo! And then the rest of all this is like acrylics and blends. I've got a couple wool blends up there. But yeah. I think a couple things like a couple things are gonna be used for cat blankets like this one and these, which there's not really a lot. Here's a latte cake, but yeah, it's chaotic. It does not have a color theme. I'm sorry if that drives you crazy, but uh, I figured it's kind of marrying, marrying, Mary. That word's not going to come out. It's sort of a mirror of my life right now. We're, we're just chaotic and happy and having fun. <laughs> so there we are. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Hopefully I will have some more for you. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at North Country Knitter. I have both a group and a page on Facebook. I don't know how it happened. It happened. I'm not techy. And first I had a group and then all of a sudden I had a page. So that just happened. But Instagram, I'm trying to keep you all updated more. Um, I should be able to do that now that I have a phone that has memory capacity. That's nice. And isn't telling me all the time that I have no memory. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, that's everything. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with more to show you. Bye.